So you can see here, this is uh, the before. And you know, it's kind of hard to zoom in here, but you can see the protrusion right there. Like not only do you see it, you can see the visible almost like cone shape protruding out. So guys there, marketplacemartates.com. Today we're going to be talking about a before and after of gyno. So, you know, you've heard me talk about selective estrogen receptor modulators quite a bit by now. And there is a lot of, you know, even big giant platforms of surgeons on TikTok and on social media who are saying, if you have gyno, the only solution is to cut it out. Despite the fact that there's a lot of clinical literature to support the efficacy of CIRMs for getting rid of pre-existing pubertal gyno, persistent as well as um, steroid induced gyno. We've seen anecdotally how many times at this point that it can actually be relatively effective if you have reasonable gyno. Of course, if you have a giant goddamn crater titty, then you're, you know, shit out of luck. You might be able to shrink it a bit, but it's still going to be unsightly and cosmetically displeasing to the point that you're probably gonna need surgery. But for individuals that have, you know, even if it's visible, even if it's like relatively, you know, like it's enough to kind of dissuade you from taking off your shirt. You may still have hope from pharmacologic intervention rather than going the surgery route. So this is an interesting thread that was put up on uh, my subreddit called 31 days of Riloxifene for gyno before and after. So he only fluctuated a few pounds, you know, I, I'm assuming he's just putting that so he can show that his body fat did not change significantly. And the only thing that really changed was his use of the CIRM. Um, I don't know, maybe he was doing a cut too. Like, I guess if anything, the after when you're lighter, when you have less body fat on your body, you're going to have more visible gyno because the protrusion of the lump is going to be more apparent, less body fat is shrouding it. So if anything, the after should be less flattering for the gyno. And this is why you see bodybuilders on stage, their gyno looks unsightly when they have a really bad lump because they're literally shredded everywhere. And then they have this one like lump for some reason, you know? So Anyways, this was posted um, 31 days raloxifene for gyno before 191.4 pounds and after 188.5. So you can see here, this is uh, the before. And you know, it's kind of hard to zoom in here, but you can see the protrusion right there. Like not only do you see it, you can see the visible almost like cone shape protruding out. So it's not just like he has like a fat there, rather you actually see the protrusion of the glandular mass here. Now it's not that bad, you know, it's not horrendous, but it's definitely, you know, enough for this guy to have deemed it, actually intervene and in trying to, you know, get rid of it. So this is, these are the before pictures and this is the, uh, the other side. Um, and now going to the after shots, you can see this is the most obvious before and after in my opinion. So from that, this angle here, you can see the cone shape here. I'll open it in a new tab actually, so you can get a better look. So this is the before, again, a bit of a better zoom in. And let's get the after shot here. So we go from this to this. From this, very cone protrusion to this with not as much protrusion. You can still see it, you know, it's not totally gone, but it's significantly improved to the point that you might, you know, not think twice about it. So before, after, before, after. So anyways, this is only 31 days of raloxifene. So keep in mind, this is not necessarily like a full course necessarily. So anyways, what was the dosage deployed during this month? Looks better to be honest. Thanks dude, it was 50 or 60 milligrams daily. I wanna try another one month blast sometime soon and I think it will be 100% gone. Awesome results, man, congrats. That piercing kinky as F. <laughs> kinky as fuck. Big ups, poppy. I just spit all over my fucking computer. Significant difference in 31 days. Wow, unfucking believable. Wow, bruh, why do you have piercing? <laughs> uh, man, some of these fucking usernames. Um, so anyway, does it look significantly better? You know, it's like a pretty noticeable improvement. It's not totally resolved by any means, but again, he might be able to get it to the point where it's not gone, but it's so cosmetically insignificant that it's, you know, tolerable and, you know, no one would notice but him when you literally like feel around for it. So again, do you need to go the surgery route every time? By the way, this isn't me saying you should use, you know, a CIRM, raloxifene or anything. I'm just saying these are the options because everyone thinks, well, not everyone, I think it's becoming more and more prevalent and more and more people are becoming aware 
that you can indeed talk to your doctor um, and see if a serum is a viable candidate of you know therapy for you based on your own current situation. So instead of having to go under the knife, you may have something that is resolvable via deployment of a serum. And with this individual, he had gyno that was you know bad enough to be a fucking problem for him, but not bad enough necessarily that he needed to get the glandular mass cut out. Now again, that's to be determined. Like, it depends on how okay with it he is, you know? After however much more Reloxifene he uses or how little or if he's okay with it right now, some people might be fine with this, you know? Some people might not be fine. Some people don't want to use drugs. They want to get the surgery done and then they don't have to worry about it ever again, you know? Definitely a plausible, logical uh, reason behind that. I'm just saying the options are there. It's not just get fucking titty cut out and that's it or nothing. Like, there, <laughs> there is other options. So I just want to lay that out there because I thought this was a good realistic before and after in a 31 day span. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplacemoredates.com, follow me on Instagram, and moreplacemoredates, Facebook, Snapchat, BitChute, not BitChute, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. My TRT clinic, it's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home. I am trying to see if we can get a compounding pharmacy to hopefully my own compounding pharmacy in the near future, produce a topical raloxifene, see if that's a viable means of, uh, you know, see if we can produce that or see if it's even feasible. Um, topical Novadex does exist, which is uh, something that may be worth looking into. In addition, um, getting your biomarkers, your blood work, all that checked, um, diagnostics, it's all available through my clinic in the description below as well, my recommended lab test panels. And uh, Gorilla Mind, nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode pre-workout formulas I designed myself from scratch and anything else I'm associated with, it's all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.